Hello chums and welcome to another Let's Play with me, RC, here on Video Chums. Today, we're going to be taking a look at and playing a bit of Unknown Fate on the Switch. Now, uh, this is another game where I don't really know much about it at all. I haven't heard of it uh, until I got a key for it and it is a first-person game on the Switch where I guess it's supposed to be pretty mythical and magical and ethereal. So uh, we're just going to jump in here right now. Actually, before we do, I do want to check out the settings. Settings are pretty minimal. Controller sensitivity one seems really low, but we'll see what it's like in the game. All right, let's just start a new game. Let's do this. Let's, let's see what our fate is. Let's see if we can know our fate. It says it's unknown, but... Once you know, you can't unknow. I hate it when the weather changes so quickly. Yeah, me too. Who doesn't, Luckily right? Luckily I'm here. Luckily I'm here. Alright, seems to be a fairly story driven uh story driven FPS so far. Oh man, lots of static. Ooh. Tough on the eyes. What? Where? Where am I? It's pretty spooky. I don't know what that's all about. What? What happened? Who are you? What happened to this place? I don't think you're gonna, gonna get any answers, dude. I think we're gonna have to platform and magic our way through this land here to figure it out. All right, we can finally control. Uh, looks like we have, let's see, B does nothing, A does nothing. Nothing, nothing does anything. So we can just move around. Pretty interesting little world though. Got some floating cubes up there. Whoa! No. Uh, I must be dreaming. That's pretty cool looking, I gotta say. But still, I can feel the wind and rain on my skin. Okay. So the road is being built as we walk here. And we're getting some late... Late title cards. Some late credits. So I wonder if this is going to be purely story driven, like we're just going to be walking through and experience, experiencing the game as opposed to interacting with the, most of it, you know, a walking simulator as they say. I guess we'll find out in a second. It's like things are getting a little crazy here. Definitely crazy. Flying demon monkeys. Yes. The flying demon monkeys, they say, we will break your crystal. Hmm. <laughs> they disappear and we're left with a giant door that says, hey, come on in. Will it slam behind us? Oh man, it's another one of those big demon monkey things up there. Well, so far I really di uh, I, I really dig the uh, art design and the style of this game. It's pretty cool. The voice acting, I think, may have been done by one of the developers or something, though. The guy doesn't seem as surprised as he should be by all of this crazy crap going on. All I'm saying. Whoa! See, like, right now he should be like, whoa, 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 whoa! Something to that effect. Even when he first got to that house, he saw that thing completely, you know, in shadowed in white or whatever. He should have been like, instead of being like, what happened? He should have been like, whoa, whoa, what is this? What, what's going on? Who are you? Why, why are you all white? Something, you know? Wake up. You're not going to give up so soon, are you? Are the demon monkeys talking to us? Sound is mixed a bit strangely as well. Right now the voice is like super low. Oh, 
Those weren't the demon monkeys talking. I thought it was. Okay, we can now jump. For anybody worried. And we can sprint by clicking the stick in. And parts of this game are pretty dark. It is, uh... Kind of hard to see things here. I just want to see if I can actually jump up there. I don't think I can, but we can jump up here. So let's continually jump up here. These big pinwheel things over here. Yeah, this is definitely, <laughs> definitely a crazy world here. That's that's for sure. Creepy Alice in Wonderland type vibes going on. Oh man. Gigantic spider with the light bulb. So the game definitely gets points for being weird, that's for sure. Very, very shiny stained wooden block there. And I don't know where that spider went. Crawling under the land or something. As far as how, how the game is running, the game is running at a pure uh, 30 FPS, which isn't bad. Definitely doesn't take anything away from the game, because it doesn't seem like we've had to do anything too taxing yet. We're kind of just moseying about here. So far, it has seemed to be uh, more of a walking simulator than anything else. Jump. There we go. So we have some kind of half-finished drawing up there. We got more areas here where we can follow our death. Press Y to interact. Uh, am I interacting with this or with this? Or is or does it mean the painting? Interact with this. Why is it telling me I can interact and then it doesn't let me interact? What am I supposed to do? I'm pushing Y. Hmm. Um. Oh, is it that thing? Oh, that's what it was. Okay. It was just that thin white thing that we had to grab. Oh! We now have a couple ways to go, it looks like. We can't go that way, but we can go this way. Oh, and then we put the thing in the thing. So it does look like there's going to be some kind of puzzle type action going on here. Oh boy. Big Hand was like, yeah, you did the thing. You can walk through here now. So, considering we're in the middle of this nightmare that won't end, I guess we will just keep on going. What should I do now? Uh, I can't go on. I will help you this time. But don't get used to it. Whoa! What is that thing? Big dice worm? And there it goes. He said I can't go on. Oh, okay, but there's nothing back here I was gonna say, but it looked like there was a path back here to go. Crazy! Okay. What's over here? Nothing. The dice worm has fled. Uh, that might be one of my only detriments with this game, is that the, the lighting in some parts is super, super dark. It's not like a huge detriment or anything like that, but... Okay, phone is ringing. A big stab stuff bunny up there. There we go. Okay, and we're gonna answer the phone. 
right? Apparently we're not. We cannot get in there. Thought we were gonna answer the phone and do something crazy, but oh well. Thought there'd be somebody on the other end like, hello? Can you help me? I don't know where I am. What is that thing? I have no idea. Um, hey guys. Don't don't hurt me. Don't eat them yet. <laughs> What was that all about? Okay. Interesting. Interesting for sure. You're here at last. You! Your voice. You're the one who helped me. Hey, check this dude out. I have been. This world is dying. The sacred lights didn't turn on. They are the ones ruling life in this world. And without light, life will disappear forever. But here you are, from another world. The gate hadn't been activated for years. Maybe it's a sign. Maybe you're the one who will bring light back to this world. I don't remember anything. I don't even know who I am. How could I... I just want to go back home. Hmm. Don't worry about what you are not. Worry about who you might become. Come on. Come here. And we shall. For we have no other choice. Alright, so here we are. We almost got eaten by weird black monkey demon things. Uh, it's been uh, it's been wild. It's been <laughs> it's been surreal. I think is a good way to put this for sure. So far with unknown fate, they've definitely done their 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 job. The developers have to create something that's truly uh, a nightmare and something to behold for sure. Very strange ethereal world that's been made here. But so far, the gameplay has not really. What should I do now? It's not. It's not been anything super exciting. An ancient artifact we, people of this world, are forbidden to use. But you are different. Maybe. Come closer. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. My weird octopus body. All right, we're breaking out the box. I store my shoes in here. My shoes go on my feet very strangely because I have tentacles. Okay, I'm getting some kind of device. I can feel its energy. Just like I thought. Hey, don't go! What should I do with this? The only thing I can do is go on. I've got no other choice. Well, right. Of course. I feel like, um, for those of you out there who have played, you know, the Uncharted series or, or something similar to that, um, it's something that, I, I don't know who did the voice acting for this game, but it's something the voice actor could have definitely have taken note of, uh, is, uh, you know, playing some other games where the main character has... Um, a lot to say and a lot going on because uh, that's exactly what I was reminded of when things were happening like I really was thinking how you know when things are happening here the character should be like whoa 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 you know actually reacting like how someone might react in real life but the performance seems very 
very stilted, uh, which is, like I said, it's fine. I'm sure maybe one of the developers did it or a friend or something like that, which is, which is cool, you know, but when you have an experience like this, where you're in first person, you are the character, you need that character to sound very realistic. You need them to sound like they're there and they're kind of saying what you would say in that situation. Um, or at least something better than you would say in that situation. Yeah, a little bit of platforming here to do. This area is very dark here. Barely see what I was jumping on when I was up there. Alright, we got some kind of a Ferris wheel thing over here. Press Y to interact again. Alright, so that's the thing that had the energy, right? Okay, so we did the thing. So now we're gonna jump, right? Or did we did we fall? Where are we? Okay, we're definitely on the thing we're not supposed to be. Okay, I think we have to bail here. Oh, okay, it just popped us back up here. Okay, so now you guys know what happens. Oh, jeez, if you don't make your jump, you just kind of get put right back up here, which is cool. No big, no big loss there when that happens. Then, all right, up there. This place. I think I've already been here. All right, press L plus X to equip the artifact, and then press ZR to use its power. Did we do it or no? There we go. Why do we gotta do L plus X to bring it out? I feel like most of the buttons on the controller aren't even used. And then Y to interact, okay. All right, so this is the most, uh, most uh, challenging thing we've done in the game so far. Didn't make the jump there, did we? Uh, let's see. What did we miss here? This area of the game feels like it's running a bit sub 30s at times. Like when I turn around and look at this stuff, it feels like it's not. I mean, maybe it is. It's 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 hard to tell. It feels like it's kind of jumping to the twenties there. Um, I guess I just got to run and make this make this jump, right? No, did not happen. All right, so we already did that thing. We already shot these things. Is this where we got to go in the back of here? No, because we already did all that. Oh, and now we're stuck back here. Can we get out of here? Yeah, <laughs> only by jumping on the little little plate spinner thing. All right. Um, then we put that away. Okay. It's, it's an interesting button combination to bring that thing out. I don't understand why it's not just out all the time. Why can't I make this jump? Where am I supposed to go? Uh, do I have to jump up on that stuff? Nope. How about up here first? Then on that, then up here? Okay, that was a very weird... Oh no, you had to shoot that thing. Well, okay, well, there you go, guys. I found a second way to get up here, at least. In case you were <laughs> wondering. Yikes. Okay. We're going to continue on here. Ah! Who or what is that thing and where was it? Oh, it's this way. Okay. That looked nothing like one of the usual monsters. That looked human. I don't know that I'd say it looked human. Hum human, human figure, maybe? 
See, again, this is where the writing would be really, really good. This would be stuff like, you know, he's like, he could be saying to himself, well, that one almost looked human. Well, okay, maybe not human. I know the white face is kind of scary, but uh, it was human-esque. You know, add some, add some flavor to the writing, you know, make the character likable. All right, we're going to shoot that or interact with it. There we go. Ooh, it's tough on the eyes. Very tough on the eyes. Oh man, this is going to be really harsh on the eyeballs here if we have to play in this. Yes, we do. Wow, this really is not not good for me. Ugh, okay. I'm going to just kind of rush to the end of this as much as I can because I do not like this. This black and white is kind of killing me. Killing my eyeballs. So shy, I couldn't even get close. Oh, is this going to be a, a romance story of some kind? I mean, dude, you can't be stalking girls or whoever at the park. Wow. It's just, it is just so hurtful on my eyes right now. I, I'm having a real hard time looking at this. It might be one thing to watch it in a video, but it's another thing to actually play it. Because right now I have to focus on where I'm going and everything, and it is just like, oof. All right, what do we got going on over here? Some kind of strongman thing? Well, I hit the interact button. And now I'm kind of stuck here. I can't move. And nothing is happening. Uh, hello? Jeez, wow. What happened there? I was just a kid. I wasn't strong enough. What, to do the strongman contest? Yeah, that's why it's called the strongman contest. It's not for kids to win. Alright, let's not get stuck on this one, huh? Wow, this is taking a long time for this stuff to, to kick in. It should be like instant. It should be like, boom, as soon as you interact with it. I was sure I could... So is the kid upset that he can't win at the carnival games? Is that what's happening here? Just having a hard time following the narrative here. He did it. He was sure he could do it, and he did. Oh, and there's the bunny that we saw earlier. So all of this is going to play into some kind of weird, strange uh, story, I suppose. I'm not sure what it is, but... I really wish there was a different aesthetic for this part, though. This white and... This black and white chrome type look here and it looks like they really really put like a lot of heavy bloom or glow on things it's just like really harsh on the eyes and fades to white man fade to black you gotta fade to black save the fade the white fade to white for very important original crazy things what, Oof. what kind of place was that no idea. It felt like I was inside of a dream, but no, that was different. It was like looking at an old photograph. It's happened before. Of that, I'm sure. It won't let us proceed when? until he finishes talking. There we go. Okay. It's you. Oh, it's this guy again. You only appear when it seems convenient to you. This journey is yours, not mine. You don't need my help. My journey. I don't recall even being given a choice. True enough. Don't worry. 
all this will soon make sense. Sense? What will make sense? It seems like a strange torture to me. That place. That ridiculous place I've been to. What was that? That was a part of you, which is now lost in these worlds. When you arrived, your memories were separated from you and found their own life. Hmm. You have been given the chance to relive important moments of your life in order to see everything from a new perspective and find out once again who you are. Find out who I am? I'd really love to know that. <laughs> who I am or who I was. I have no memory of my life. Maybe there's a reason for all this. There's always a reason. Do not hesitate. Soon you'll find out the reason for everything. I don't mind the voice acting of the uh, weird monster thing that you keep talking to. That that person did not do a, a bad job here. But I just I cannot get into the uh, the voice actor of the main guy. It's a it's an interesting performance to say the least. But um, yeah, guys, I think that's enough of unknown fate. I think I get a pretty good idea of what to expect from this, and I think you guys do too. Um, it seems like for the most part, it's kind of a walking simulator with a very strange story uh, that doesn't seem to be ma making any sense until the. Uh, I, I guess that would be the antagonist. I don't know the the big big guy there. Maybe he's the nemesis. I don't know what you would classify him as at this point, but. Um, he basically just gave away the whole plot of the, the game right there, which was he was saying, oh yeah, you're reliving your old memories so you can get a new perspective on life. But why? Why is this happening? I guess that's what you're going to find out later on. Um, but of course, his fate is unknown, correct? Um, so yeah, the game seems all right. You know, like I said, it's a, it's a very, uh, you know, sort of... Uh, I, I don't know what you want to call it. It's kind of a detached story, narrative game, walking simulator with a, a few interactive things here or there, but nothing taxing. Um, and I think it, it's... I think it's got a really cool visual and art style and everything like that. But the game itself, I don't know. It, it leaves a little bit to be desired uh, based on some of the other things I've already said. Uh, it's not awful by any means, but uh, definitely one of those games where uh, I, I, you know... I'm, I, I'm not sure what, what's going to happen next, but I'm not so sure that I want to know. So <laughs> there's that and everything. Um, but you, you know what? This might be a game for you, though. You've already seen it here. This might be something you want to check out. Uh, so check it out if it looks cool for you. Uh, guys, just want to remind you, please subscribe to us here on Video Chums because we come out with videos like this and gameplay videos as well. Uh, every other day, almost every day, at least every week, we got something cool up there for you to check out. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to my own personal YouTube channel, which is WatchGGRC, youtube.com slash WatchGGRC, because I come out with all kinds of other types of video game videos like vlogs and reviews and that kind of thing. Um, so yeah, give both channels a subscribe, and of course, chums, I'll see you all in the next Let's Play. See you then.